Hi, I'm Krishant and today we are going to be making a really interesting scratch project. In this scratch project we are going to be learning two things. We are going to be learning how to make a two player game and we are going to be learning how to make a game over screen. And we have three steps in them. So the first one is making the racetrack. The second one is coding them to move. And the third one is how to make the time and the game move. So let's get started by kicking the silly cat out and picking some sprites. Okay. I'm going to pick him and... Okay. So, now that I have both of these two people, I am going to go to the background, but we're not going to choose the background. We're going to paint one. So, we will draw with 100, so then the guys fit. Okay, now I made my race track. Okay, I made the part where they're gonna walk. And now I need to make the part where they shouldn't go up. Okay, the so green is like the lava. Okay, now I am, now we are going to be moving on to step two, which is moving them with the arrow keys. So let's go to Pico, I'm going to delete a few of his costumes, and same for this girl, okay. And now let's start, start coding. So, Pico is gonna move with the arrow keys. So, we're gonna get the red green flag clicked because we want everything to start when the green flag is clicked. And then we go to the controls and get the forever loop. So then the computer will keep checking again and again and again if we're pressing any of these keys. And inside that, we need four if-then blocks. And we need if-then blocks because we are going to be putting key space pressed so if key space press, then what do we want it to do? And that's going to be inside. So let's go to the sensing and find the key space press block and put it in each of those forever loops and we'll change the space into the arrow keys. The up arrow, the down arrow, the right arrow, and the left arrow. Okay. Now, we have to show the computer what to do if the keys are pressed. So, we go to the motion, and then we go a little bit down. And then we get the change X by 10. For the right arrow and the left arrow keys. And we get the change Y by 10 for the up and down. And for the down, 
to keep negative 10 because that's down. And left is the same thing, but it's left. Now that I've got all of these, it's time to test our Pico. He's moving right and left and up and down. Good, but we don't want any upside down Pico. So we put him in 90. And then keep it like this over here with the two arrows. If you want it to stay like that forever. Now, after, we want Pico to be small, or else he's not going to fit on the track. So, I usually like using the size of 40 to fit inside. And same for this Giga. And she's gonna go on the race track too. Pika. Pika's gonna be on top of it. Now, in two player projects, we have to remember that if I make this code, if both of them are gonna be doing the same things, like in this project, they're both gonna be going around and around and around using the keys. We want almost the same exact code. So to do that, we take all of this code and then we put it in for Giga. Giga. Then if we go in there, oh, you have to keep it and then you have to drop it. Okay, now she's got the code. But instead of the up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, and right arrow, we want the WASD keys. So let's get them. So W is here, and the down arrow is S, and the right arrow is a D, and the left arrow is A. Okay. So now that I've got this, let's check if Giga is working. Hmm. Let's try that again. Yep, she's moving up, she's moving this way, she's moving this way, moving this way, and she can move this way again. Good. So now, in two player projects, if you want to check your code exactly, you should try moving both of your sprites at the same time. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing now. Hey, they're moving at the same exact time. If yours aren't, you have to check your code again. Now, I forgot something in my suit. It was that I forgot to put a starting line. Now, what about I add that? I want mine to be red. And then this way. Like this, a line. Okay, you might see the red line over here. Behind them. Now, we want a time variable. So then we'll make a game over speed after. And this is step number three. So we're almost done. Now, let's see. And we want the time all the way in the beginning from to all the way in the end. So when the green flag is clicked, we can go to the variables and then we can make a variable called time. Okay, now at the beginning I want my time to be 30. 
and then we go to the controls and we get a forever loop because we want it to go forever like down and down and down and down. Actually, I don't think we need a forever loop. We need a repeat 10. Now I'm going to change that into how much time I'm going to have at the beginning. So then we can put something under that. Because in the forever loop, there, you can't put anything under that. So the repeat 30 and then we go to the variables and the change my very the change time by negative one and then we need hmm, we need to wait one second or else it's gonna computers are really fast so then it will just go really fast and we're not gonna be seeing how quick the time goes and we're not gonna be able to do anything either so we need to go to the controls and wait one second block inside loop so then it's going to be 30 then it's 29 then 28 then 27 then 26 and we we will be able to see it going down one by one and then at the end we can go to the events and broadcast message one and then if we go to the sprite and then the paintbrush we're going to play this right now we can go to the text box. I like the marker. And then I want game over. Over. And game over. And we want this to be bigger. A lot bigger. Click outside and then, boom, that's too big, okay. And then I want it to be tilted. Cool, now I want an outline. No, there's no outline, okay. Now, I think our game over sprite needs some code. Okay, so we need a when I receive, where's that? When I receive message one, we want it to show. So we go to looks. And then show and get the hide and then we can go to the event and at the beginning we don't want it to show so we go hide we save our game and now we're done with all three steps and we finish the two things we have to learn but there's one more step we have to do and that one step is try the game out okay I'm going to click there. And they can go. I want Pico to see the shortcut. <laughs> Pico sees the shortcut. Okay, now let's put them back in. Oh, time's over. I was trying to control both of them, but if you try with a friend, then probably you can win, or your friend might win. Why don't you try your game out and check and say how it was in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye.